A Valley family out of their home tonight after their apartment caught fire yesterday. Mesa police happened to be in the neighborhood. It's a good thing they were yeah. when they saw the smoke. Yeah, they rushed to rescue a 13 year old boy and his dog. And tonight that boy is opening up about exactly what happened. Stephanie Omo live with this story. Steph. John and Christina, it was a terrifying moment for Blake Mankin. The teen was home alone playing video games when all of a sudden he heard chaos outside. Mesa police pounding on the door, yelling for everyone to get out. We're going to start knocking doors for people evacuating. It was before 9 Thursday morning when Mesa police officers spotted smoke coming from an apartment. Anybody inside? Mesa police! Inside was 13 year old Blake Mankin and his dog. I saw the smoke smelt in and I, I didn't know where my dog is, so I yelled his name, but he didn't listen to me. Then it just went to how am I going to get out and I broke up in the window. Officers helped Blake break the window and were able to pull him and his dog out to safety. Get his hand, get his hand. Anybody else in here? At the time, Blake's stepdad, Chris Carstensen, and his siblings were out of the house. His parents were on their way to get their vaccine shots when they got a phone call. We pulled up and we saw one fire truck out on the road um, spraying from over the wall. And then we came in and they had actually had the entire road blacked off. Thankfully, we were able to go and get to him and talk to him right away. Fire crews were on scene evacuating others in nearby apartments. A few people were treated and released on scene. Blake had to get a few stitches on his right hand. Chris says he's just happy everyone made it out safe. Everyone is safe in my family and thankfully everything else is just material goods. We can replace that. There's nothing we can do to replace life. Now the cause of the fire right now remains under investigation. The family is staying with relatives right now. In the meantime, they have set up a GoFundMe page. We have that link on our website, fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live tonight in Mesa, I'm Stephanie Omo, Fox 10 News.